Hello everyone and welcome back to X Terminator 9876. In this video we're going to be playing some more Terraria. So in the last video we went mining and we got a few statues that we don't really need so I'm just going to place some of them here on top of my NPC housing. And I've figured out how I'm going to make the NPC housing work. So what I'm going to do is, because once we have lots and lots of houses, it's going to be hard to access all my NPCs. So I'm going to dig a tunnel. I'm going to dig a tunnel from here and I'm just going to go down Now this will just let me go through underneath and when I'm under each individual little section I'll be able to interact with the NPC in that. Now Tori is running a, a bit of a low frame rate at the moment. But it's still running Eventually, if Tunnel the router, well, we need to be access all the one piece. Finish our little tunnel here. We're gonna go do some mining. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I think most of the time, yeah, we've been mining down here or there. I'm gonna try going this way. Not having any of the map unlocked out here, so it could be some good stuff. Also, once we get some, what are they called? I think they're gravity potions. 
I know how to find some sky islands pretty easily, so you just need to not mess with the top layer. There's one chest here, so that's a start. Climbing floor, very nice. And they are up part of the master ninja, yes. Yeah, so. so I have to get them recall So now I can find more. And he's had something. There, I was just putting some healing potions on my hot bath so I can drink them easily. Place a torch. Yes, there was an eye of the floor. No, yeah. an eagle eye in here. So, now we're going to send it into the dungeon. I just, I wonder if this section connects to um, the other part of the world here. By Minecraft. So if this section, the other section probably will go to the right again. Maybe this section drops onto Minecraft. Minecraft actually will. And it's already done. So it's very possible that we're going to drop onto the mine cavern at some point. We have some copper there which we're not going to mine because I don't need more copper. Okay, here we go, another chest. Ooh, that's good. We got an intrepid array. The intrepid part doesn't really matter, but a radar is part of the The reason why I like it is part of the TVA. Probably raining about the Yeah, connect to the Minecraft. Okay. Now, 
I don't think we've reached the end of the of the minecart rail, so I'm just gonna ride it to the end. There's some lead to my news. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to... Ah, oh, they can jump! video is to get some more lead, maybe make some lead leggings, a lead sword, just something so we won't die as easily. This way, because I think it's probably a quick over. Can descend down here to the minecart rail, and then we're going to go along to where I died and hopefully finish off that outline charger. And I have a question, and there is technically no right answer, but I think that sort of is. And the question is, 
What is the hardest but I mean no. What is the easiest boss in all of Terraria to beat? Now this is assuming that you have somewhat appropriate gear at least. So, it's not assuming the absolute same gear for everything, because there's no way you're defeating the world with something that you could reasonable that would be reasonable against the eye of Cthulhu. So it's assuming gear reasonable for the boss. And the answer is Deer Thing, I think. Because Deer Thing does not despawn based on you dying. He despawns based on I think 24 real world minutes. So you have almost half an hour to defeat him. Go back the other way and hit them again. Let's see if I can hit any of the outline charges over here again. No, I think that Now we're just gonna go back this way and mine that lead. Outline something, but many. Another healing potion because I was very close to dying there. And... Yeah, so. No, no, I don't want to die to Antlands here. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't going quick enough to crush them all yesterday. I'm gonna have to go this way. Then switch back. And hopefully hit the antlions this time. Kill them so I can mine in peace. And I died again. Okay. So we're just gonna temporarily give up on that mine. We're gonna go somewhere else.
Okay. Even though I said the goal of this video is to get lead armor, there's a new goal. The new goal is just explore. Because I'm not getting lead armor this video. And it jumped over me as usual. So this time we're gonna go past the mining part here and we're just gonna continue on. So after exploring a little bit this way, until we reach something that makes us stop, either some of the ice mini island, the ice floating islands thing, or corruption. If we reach either of those, we thing that's going to stop us is if we run into corruption or if we run into the dungeon. So I don't think I'm going to be able to go around either of those. The dungeon going around it would just require too much pillaring at the moment because we don't have grappling hooks or anything. Minecraft's definitely coming. If we've been this far before, we're gonna go back.
Okay, so we're now reaching the surface snow biome. As expected, since the underground snow biome is right down there. And it's a blizzard. She's going to make exploration really difficult, so I think we might end it here. So, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. This has been Extra Lane 976. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.